today's video we're going to do some major spring cleaning and we're starting with the back door area so this is what leads into the kitchen and i look out this kitchen door a lot we have a window pane on it so i can see out into the yard and unfortunately this little area gets very neglected in the winter time um, i have so many projects that i want to get accomplished this spring and summer but this is just the start of hopefully a cute little makeover of this area so I'm starting out by just raking all of these dead leaves we have a huge very old willow oak tree that is technically above me and it loses a lot of leaves so I'm gonna use these in the garden I could put them out in the woods I could burn them but I figure adding them to compost would just be a nice way to dispose of them in that way so once I get this all tidy up I do want to bring in some flowers some maybe like flower pots I don't know if you have an idea of how I could make this space cuter definitely comment down below because I'm not really sure what all to add here but it has potential to be really cute and I love this little spot I just don't know what to do with it so as I said if you have ideas definitely leave them down in the comments at least we got it cleaned up today so after that I decided to start in on dinner um, this is just a really simple meal I'm roasting up a bunch of veggies and then I'm going to make some chicken wings Wait, are you trying to FaceTime me? Cause I like... <laughs> What's up? Just checking in. I like ugly. What are you doing, homemaker? I'm actually cutting up. Bread. I'm cutting up beets and carrots and... I, tonight, am making some crispy baked chicken wings. Beets are definitely one of those vegetables that I had to learn to love. And now that I'm an adult, we always talk about how much we love them. They have that really deep, earthy flavor, but they're so good. And they're really great for antioxidants. They help to reduce inflammation. They also are really great for lowering blood pressure. There's just so many amazing benefits to this earthy root vegetable, and I love them. I can't wait to grow them in my garden again. I have a couple different varieties that I'm looking forward to growing, so hopefully that works out pretty well. Along with carrots and beets, I'm also gonna chop up some potatoes, cauliflower, some zucchini, and I'm just going to cover that in some tarragon some herb salts and pepper and roast that in the oven at about 400 or 425 until they look done and in the meantime i'm just rinsing and drying my chicken wings it's really important to have really dry skin if you want them to be crispy and you're going to bake them in the oven i'm just throwing on random spices i wasn't really following a recipe for this so i'm using some paprika um what else did i put on there onion powder garlic powder I also did salt, lots of salt, pepper, and I think that was it. Oh, I also put a little bit of curry powder on there because I love that flavor with chicken wings, and they turned out like this. They were really great. I honestly never flipped them. I know a lot of people say to do that. I also did not flip my vegetables, as you can see, but it was very delicious, and we enjoyed this dinner a lot, and I definitely want to make this again with the warmer months ahead. Another project I've been waiting to accomplish is hanging up this antique shelf that I found. I was just waiting until I could find a table that would fit underneath it so I would know placement on the wall. Finally found that the pair matched and funny fact about this is when we put it on the wall we actually hung it upside down. I don't know how we didn't see that until after it was tightly attached but I stepped back and thought, wait a second. So, as usual, it took a little bit longer than you thought, but we still got it accomplished within uh, probably less than an hour. Um, it was a little bit tricky because this house is just really old, so leveling always takes a lot longer. But thankfully, I have amazing family and a baby who's happy to sit on my hip as I attack 
these house projects this spring. So this is just the start because I have to now style it and I usually like to style things in this house with the idea of making them very functional. So even though I want things to look pretty as decor, I really need it to be something that I can use because if it's not practical, I really just don't have room for it. We only have two closets in this house and one of them is very small. So there is not a lot of storage. We don't have an attic that we can use and we do not have a basement. So I don't want to live a minimalist life, but I'm kind of pushed into it. So Here is the final setup. It is of course not styled. That is going to take me some time. Um, one thing I am picky about is picking pieces that are usable and not just throwing stuff up there. All right, moving on to another day. I decided to try a new recipe. I just felt inspired by the seasonal fruits, which are lemons. Lemons are in season this time of year. So I wanted to make a lemon lavender scone. I've actually never made scones. So they're similar to biscuits. The first thing I'm gonna do is grate my butter, which you just saw, and I'm putting it in the freezer just to stay cold because like biscuits and pie crust and scones you want your ingredients to stay cold so then I'm moving on to my lemons and I'm just using my anyone remember what this is called because I can't think of what it is it's not a grater it's a zester yes I'm using a zester to get all of the lemon zest and I'm just mixing this with my sugar and I am just giving it a really good grind. This kind of helps to release the lemon flavor into your baked good and also just kind of help to break down a little bit better of your, your uh, rind there. So either way, I'm getting that all mixed up. In the meantime, trying to entertain a baby at the same time because I've got to do both most of the time. And then I'm juicing these lemons, which was such a workout. I really need a lemon juicer. I just used my hands and thank goodness I didn't have any cuts because that would have really hurt. But I got about a fourth cup of lemon juice and then I'm adding in some vanilla extract. I'm using this whole milk, probably could use other milks, but I just had it on hand for another recipe and I needed to use it. We don't necessarily drink milk, like by the cup but I have been baking with it more often um, because it does make a difference some of the time it really does so I use whole milk and now I'm just using my favorite einkorn flour I've talked about this in other videos I still love it especially when I'm doing things that don't require sourdough so adding in my baking soda and baking powder and this used a whole tablespoon of baking powder I thought like that was kind of a lot um, and I don't really think it was enough, but that's just a forewarning to how this recipe turned out. Not so great, but anyway, I am now adding in my shaved butter. I highly recommend grating your butter. It's so much easier than cutting it finely with a knife. If you have a grater, put your butter in the freezer, take it out, grate it, and then keep it in the fridge or the freezer, whichever you need. So now I'm taking this whole milk which I mixed with my lemon juice so it actually had kind of curdled turning into a buttermilk consistency and now I am just shaping my scone dough this is where I kind of had a feeling my dough was a little bit too wet but because I had never made scones before I wasn't really sure um, I also had some pretty like major sticking on my cutting knife here and, or my bench scraper, sorry. And that's when I just thought, oh, I don't know if this is turning out right. But I just kept rolling with it because it was just for fun and just an experiment. And that is the joys of home baking. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't really matter if they're super cute or not. Nine times out of 10, it's gonna taste delicious anyway. So just, just try it. And now I know better next time. I'm now just brushing them with a little bit more of that whole milk. I like to, well, Honestly, we'll only buy grass-fed milk. If I can find uh, raw milk, then I will, but it's it's harder for me to find right now. Um, but anyway, I am now just using a little bit of this drizzle because they're finished baking. 
This was the next morning. I had a little scone with a nice cup of Nora tea. Once my son was up, I decided to make him some breakfast. Some days I don't make him breakfast, other days I feel like he's ready for it. And today we have this high quality yogurt. I buy A2, A2, 100% grass fed whole milk yogurt. I like the brand Alexandria. And I mix in some wild blueberries. I had half an avocado and some egg from our chickens out back. I'm not very picky about how much he eats or how often. I just do it when it works in. I definitely follow the rule of thumb. Food before one is just for fun. Um, his primary source of nutrition is still nursing, but we are getting good with food. He seems to really be enjoying it, so I just do it whenever I can and whenever he has the appetite for it. If we could replace, oh lord, I think I just broke this chicken table. Again? Yes. Maybe we'll reinforce that thing. Look at that. Oh, well, don't wreck it. Well, I didn't. I sat on it. Oh my gosh. We just broke our picnic table. I'm going grocery shopping whenever I come out here because I don't look at this and I always kind of forget what we have going on. So, <gasps> yes, I thought I was out of this. This is some pork smoked sausage. Not the best ingredients in here, unfortunately, because it does have nitrates, but it's so delicious, so every once in a while I'll do this. But I think I'm going to I'm going to grab a roast because my in-laws are coming in town. So I'm gonna thaw this out. And tonight I think I might make oopsie. I have a ground beef and some ground pork. These one pound packs thaw pretty quickly in water. So I don't have dinner plans. And unless I wanna do a pasta dish, which is an option, I'm gonna bring these inside and maybe I'll make meatloaf tonight. I'm going to in the video here I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me over these last couple of days if you look closely you can see pumpkin hiding under the blanket it was so cute he stayed like that for such a long time either way um, I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me the last couple of days and let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see vlogs or specific videos um, I always love hearing from you I hope that you've been enjoying the start of this month and other than that, I will see you again soon.